Thanks for joining us. We are talking to Phil Davis, he's president, hybrid IT and chief sales officer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Phil, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good to be here. Now, Phil, we can't really start this conversation without talking about 5G. It's the big theme here this year at MWC. So tell us, what's the opportunity for HPE? Well, I mean, if you, could, if you take a look at what's going on with 5G, it's still real early in the rollout. So for us, the uh, telco industry, first of all, is our biggest vertical of all the verticals we do business. So we see this as a huge opportunity. I also think it's a great opportunity for HPE to help telcos as they go through their own digital transformation. And a lot of them are really working on how do they optimize and monetize 5G. And we think by working with them and providing solutions to them, we can help them on that journey. Now, Phil, the disaggregation trend is opening up new opportunities for many vendors. How is HPE reacting to the new market dynamics? Well, I mean, first of all, you're right. The solutions continue to disaggregate. And you see this big move towards virtualization, virtualization of the network function. And what that's doing is causing a lot more commonality between the traditional kind of network architecture and traditional IT architectures. And in fact, even if you look at the titles at a lot of the telcos, they're now CTIO. So the combination of the CTO and IT role kind of coming together. And so from our standpoint, we think we can bring a lot of those great innovations that we've brought into the data center to help simplify, help automate, help optimize the performance and really deliver a much more software defined experience to the telco operators as they look to kind of wrestle with some of these disaggregation challenges. Of course, the big prize for 5G is the digital economy. It's the emergence of new businesses and increased transformation by vertical industries. Yet Gartner is saying that two thirds of organizations intend to deploy 5G by 2020, but isn't there a danger that CSPs will not be ready by then? Well, as I mentioned, we're still early in this 5G journey, and I think you, if you look around the globe, you're seeing rollouts differ by the different countries or even the different regions, right? So in the U.S., you're seeing some fairly early adoption. Here in Europe, it's still probably earlier in that, uh, in that journey. And I think the key element that all the operators are trying to figure out is where are, what are the killer applications and how do they really monetize some of the capabilities that are built into 5G. Certainly IoT and uh, edge compute and connectivity at the edge will be important, but layering in services on top of that where the telco is able to monetize that, I think is gonna be a real big opportunity. And frankly, with the operators we met here, I think a lot of them are still figuring that piece of the puzzle out. Finally, Phil, what's your message for the majority of CSPs who are taking a more cautious approach to 5G and are still evaluating how best to transform to digital service providers? Well, first of all, I think it's just going to be an exciting journey. There's a lot of opportunities that are open up. HPE is committed to working with you and helping you and supporting you on that uh, journey. We really have an end-to-end -end suite of solutions, whether it's servers, storage, networking, our wireless and our connectivity solutions through Aruba, all the way through to software solutions with our CMS portfolio. So we're here, we want to help, and we want to guide you on that journey. Phil Davis, thank you very much. Thank you.